Hello and welcome to a new video discussing the new dynamic array functions video number six in this video we are going to look at the filter function we are going to see four features and five examples first one how filter function can retrieve single or multiple columns second how we can filter tables using single or multiple criteria third filtration using and logic versus or logic fourth how you can instruct filter function what to do if the value not found and finally how filter function works perfectly with excel tables if you want to follow along while watching the video or even if you want to practice after watching the video please go down in the description section you will find the link please use it to download the excel file and also use the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified with the new videos on the left hand side you can see that we have a small database containing the staff information we have the staff id the full name we have the address the hiring date the band and the marital status and we need to do some filtration for this information using some criteria in these five examples and the first one we need a list of all names if the employee is band a so we're going to do this using the filter function let's write together equals fil the first option is filter tab and then let's try to follow the screen tips first one will be the array we need to select the array and in this case the array will be the return array so what column we need to return for me this will be the full name column so let me go to the left and i'm going to select the full name column i'm going to select the first cell below the header and then control and shift one arrow down to select the entire column then comma now we are finished with the array argument let's go to the next one which is the include the include will be the criteria is that i want to apply in order to retrieve the data or to filter the table so in this case i want every and each employee with the band a so i'm going to select the a in j3 and then i'm going to compare this with the band in column e you can see here the bands in column e i'm going to select the first cell below the header control and shift and arrow down to select the entire column now i'm telling excel please retrieve the full name from the full name column if you find that the j3 the value in j3 equal any value in this list or in this column and this is the two mandatory arguments the array and the include and i have one optional argument which will be the if empty and you can see it is between two square bracket this argument will allow you to add a value if not found let me leave it for now i'm going to close the bracket and press enter you will see that i have all employees the full name of all employees with the band a let me try something that is not here like one one is not a band you will see this error which is a hash and calc how can i overcome this i'm going to use the third argument so i'm going to go here and add one comma and between double quotes let me write not found close the double quote and enter and here you go if the search is failed it will give you a message instead of the error let me go back to band a and now you can see that the list is not sorted it's not alphabetically sorted if you want to sort this it's very easy you can go back to the formula bar and before the filter you can use the sort function sort and then tab and then you go to the end of the formula and close the bracket and enter and here you go you will find that we have a sorted list of all employees with the band a before moving to the next example let's try to add some more information to this database i have here in this tab some additional information i have one employee hired recently and i want to add this information to my database Control c to copy back to the main sheet let's go to the line 22 the first empty line and Control v to paste the record you will notice that this employee at band x and he is the only employee with band x so let me try to search i'm going to write x and enter it is not found as you can see why because you will see that you included only up to row 21 
row 22 is not included in this formula you have to adjust this manually and every time you add anything to your database you are going to adjust manually and this is not good at all the perfect way to overcome this issue is to format this table as excel table and this is very easy you need just to use the shortcut control t this small dialog box will open the create table dialog box and it is automatically recognized the range and asking you if your table has headers in this case it's okay and you will see automatically the range converted to table format and the table design ribbon opened on the left hand side you can give a name to the table let me call it stuff s t a double f and enter i just need to go back to the formula and edit in order to change the cell reference that i use here the range reference to a table reference or structured reference and i already have a video discussing all what you need about the structured reference while working with table and you will find the link for this video on top of the screen right now let's try to edit this together sort function no problem i need to edit the filter function so let me go directly inside the filter function first thing is the array if i select from the screen tip you will see that b2 to b21 i need to change this to the entire column of the full name inside the table the table named stuff and the column called full name if you hover your mouse over the header of this column you will see this black arrow if you just select it will write as you can see the name of the table and between two square brackets the name of the column so that's fine j3 i don't want to change i want to change e2 to e21 which represent the include array this time i need the band column again i'm going to hover by my mouse once i see this black arrow i'm going to click and here you go staff is the name of the table and band the name of the column that's good and enter now it's automatically included the band x employee that we just hired let me add another one i'm going to take the second record control c down in the first empty cell control v this time we have the band z let's try together i'm going to select the band z and enter it is working perfectly so i'm recommending that each time you use the filter or any dynamic array function it's better to convert your original data to table format let's move directly to the second example in the second example i need the list of all employees that hired after 31st december 2016 but not only the full name i need the full record everything about this employee stored in this table equals fil and then tab this time the array should be the entire table because i'm going to retrieve the entire record i'm going to the left at the top corner of the table once i see this tilted black arrow i'm going to click it will select the entire table you can notice here in the formula bar the entire table name written then i'm going to use comma in order to go to the second argument this time include should be the hiring date so i'm going to select the column hiring date i'm going to hover the mouse over the top of the column header and then click it will select the column and i can see the name of the table and between two brackets the name of the header and then i want to compare the values inside this column with the value 31st december 2016 using the greater than operator so i'm going to write greater than and i'm going to select m3 and then comma and then i'm going to put my not found message double quote not found double quote and close the bracket for filter and enter here you go the list of all employees that hired after 31st december 2016 and you can review the dates all working perfectly let's try to take this one step further the next example i want to retrieve data from the table but based on two criteria this time i need the list of all employees that lives in alexandria and band a as well notice that i'm going to use and so i need both criteria to be matched in order to retrieve the information let's try to do it together so i'm going to this cell and i'm going to write my filter formula equal fil and then tab 
array will be the entire table this time let me try to write it myself instead of selecting by mouse sta here you go your options you have the first option is the staff table and you can notice the table icon on the left double click to select the entire table you can see it is selected the entire table then include this time i need two criteria and each criteria will be between two brackets so let me open the first bracket and include this time i need to add the address column so i'm going to write by hand again sta tab between two square bracket ad i have the address the only option i have tab and close the bracket here you go i'm going to compare this using the equal operator with the alex and then close the bracket here is my first condition or my first criteria i'm going to use the asterisk in order to perform multiplication why because the and is replicated by the multiplication operation because each time i have true in both criteria, it will result in true when i use the multiplication so let me open another bracket and then again i'm going to write sta in order to select the staff table and then tab open square bracket this time i need the band b a i have the band here close the square bracket and you will see on the left hand side the band column selected let me compare this with the band the band a and then close the bracket now i'm done with my include my criteria is done and then comma and don't forget your message not found if not found and then close the bracket for filter and enter here you go you have the guys from alexandria three people in alexandria and they are also band a let's try the or we finished with and let's try the or this time i need any person lives in luxor or hired after 31st december 2012 so i'm going to perform an or this time let's try to write the, the formula equals fil and then tab staff is the name of the table sta and then tab this time i will have also two criteria so i'm going to open the first bracket my first criteria will be the address so i need the address column sta for the staff table and then tab open square bracket ad for address and then tab close the square bracket compare this using the equal operator with the address luxor close the bracket this time in order to perform the or i'm going to use the plus instead of the multiplication open another bracket for the second criteria this time i need again the staff table sta and then tab the column will be the hiring date hi for hiring date close square bracket and then i'm going to compare this with the hired before date that's why i'm going to use the less than operator and then select the date close the bracket i'm done with my criteria and then comma my not found message close double quotation close the bracket and enter let's review the results together here you go every and each person hired before 2012 and also any person lives in luxor regardless of his hiring date so i think we successfully tried and and or let's try another or but this time or in the same column you can see that this time we have two criteria in two different columns let's try if we have the or but in the same column in example number five i need every and each person living in cairo and alex together and i'm going to perform this using the or let's write together equals fil and then tab the array will be the entire table staff and then tab comma to start our conditions i'm going to use also two conditions or two criteria open bracket for the first one sta i need the address open square bracket ad for address and then tab close the bracket the square bracket i mean compare it with the first address and then close the bracket and again i'm going to use the plus because i'm performing or and then open another bracket for the second condition or second criteria i need the same column the address column inside table staff sta and then tab for the staff table open square bracket to select the column ad to, to search for address and then tab close the square bracket compare this to alex this time and close the bracket and you are done with your criteria comma double quote not found double quote close the bracket and enter and here you go 
every and each person living in Alex or living in Cairo I think working very very good that was all for filter function thank you very much for your time but before leaving you please subscribe like the video if you like it and leave me a comment and see you in next video and bye